Hi, I'm Jacqueline Nelson. And I'm Mike Babbitt. And today's bottom line is that the Canadian economy still has some weak spots and interest rates aren't going anywhere anytime soon. Yeah, Jacqueline, the Bank of Canada held rates steady again this week and that really is an ongoing signal from them, right? And economists agree we're not going to see a rate hike for quite some time. TD thinks that's not going to happen, that the benchmark rate will stay at 0.5% until midway through 2017. And the Bank of Canada's statements really put the year into perspective now that they're calling for a weak fourth quarter. That's, you know, if you look back, the first two quarters, they were contractions, and then we had that third quarter bounce, but now we're closing it out with the soft final three months. And if you listen to Bay Street economists, next year isn't going to be that great either. The oil shock really is taking its toll here. But at the same time, the Bank of Canada does have some tune of optimism to it because while on one hand there is that complex and lengthy adjustment they're calling the oil shock, on the other hand, you know, we've got a stronger U.S. market, a low loony, two rate cuts this year, add to that a resilient jobs market, it's not looking too bad. Well, one of the best descriptions I saw came from CIBC, which called the Bank of Canada statement a mix of hope and concern. And really, that's where Canada's economy is right now. And then we're going to have the U.S. central bank to contend with. Yeah, the Fed may well launch its first interest rate hike this month, and, and that will automatically tighten things up in Canada a little bit. And then add to that fiscal restraint. Yeah, the provinces are getting their act in gear, although there are some spending initiatives, obviously. Then you've got the new Trudeau government spending plan. So there's, there's a mix of things out there. You know, really is interesting because Canada came through the financial crisis better than most countries, including the United States, which got absolutely hammered, as we know. And here we are, you know, the oil shock has put Canada right back behind.